show you. He's creeping up on us. <laughs> there he is! There he is! <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. This is the car, this is the track, and this is... I don't really know what this is. Okay, so we are starting in P5 as car number four. We qualified with a 150.8, which has placed us where we are. Joey, a couple of cars ahead of us. Shout out to Race Labs. Um, I, I'm not sponsored or anything, but that's the overlays that you're seeing on screen, and I think that they look pretty nice. So getting underway on uh, Mugello, we've got 13 laps here. Car number nine on the outside. We got a slightly better launch than him, despite the fact that he started ahead of us. We are ahead of him going into the first corner. Joey couldn't quite find a way around the two front runners, and we have to slow down a little bit as well there nine is going to go around the outside there it looks like he got slight oversteer but still able to uh, maintain the inside line there and i'm going to give that one up i do not want to send it too wide through there it's just a needless risk at this point joey having a bit of a moment some oversteer and he's going to be put on the outside loses a bunch of speed car number nine goes through uh car number nine his name is antony and we are going to be referencing him a lot as we make our way through um there are a lot of cars behind us but nobody putting pressure onto us exactly car number six looking to make a move up the inside of this blue and white car i think that's car number five actually so five and six battling four p6 six making it work around the outside enter car number seven who's going to follow six through break slightly early and maintain an inside line up the sweeping right hander and that is going to give him the inside for i think this is corner, corner nine which he will gladly take uh ends up making a little bit of contact with five gets that position done and five is going to end up losing quite a few positions there through the chicane and he has the inside for the exit of the chicane manages to gain the track position for it and he will slide out of there uh defending that position so that was just something that happened we are now rewinding basically to where we picked up with those guys so this is still the first lap heading down turn six and we have kind of fallen back a little bit here as we're we, we want to be cautious. I don't want to put Joey under a bunch of pressure. Joey is putting pressure on car number nine, who makes a mistake going very wide there. Joey's up the inside. They make contact going up corner number 10. That's going to also allow the inside to open up for me. Car number nine decides to uh, not use the left side of the track and run into me, giving me a little contact right there, but it's not too much of a problem. I do send it a bit deep and coming out of this corner, he's going to be hot on my tail, um, looking to defend this one. So I'm going to stay on the inside. He does very well here actually to break late and get the car pretty deep while still maintaining maintaining grip enough to hold me to a tight line so I can't really open up my car or uh, open up my steering that's going to send us too wide through this chicane and I don't like this I'm going to end up backing out slightly uh, losing more speed than I already was losing I am now having to defend this uh, the final corner and this guy behind is going to absolutely ship it up the inside of car number seven make contact seven does well to hold it there honestly six does well to stay on the track as well so everybody gets through there but that does relieve some pressure off of me which is fantastic as I would really like to continue to move forward this is the end of lap number two, and at this point, um, car number nine and myself have caught up to Joey slightly, not really by virtue of us putting in any type of monster laps, but I think Joey made a mistake somewhere on that lap. So car number nine has a decent run. He also has a significant amount of slipstream onto Joey, and as we start lap number three, he is in a spot to possibly look for a move. Joey looking defensive, taking the inside. That's going to put car number nine around the outside coming into the first corner. This is our view of that. Joey opening it up as much as he can. I think it frightens car number nine a little bit. Joey still manages to go a little bit deep there, and he's going to actually end up going side by side with car number nine, but he has the inside slight contact as they enter into the first chicane, and Joey is going to successfully defend that position. All of that fighting puts me right on the tail of car number nine, and man, I would love to get this position. Uh, Joey is currently sitting in the podium position of P3, which is really what I have my sights set on, but I mean, currently this guy is standing in my way. If he does continue to fight Joey, I'm not against that. That could open up a possibility for me, but I'm not banking on it. And um, honestly, I would like to have a Joey, uh, uh, not a, have a Joe, have a fight with a Joey at some point. So um, perhaps that could be this race already as we head up turn number eight. Joey's beginning to pull away. This guy ahead of me was not super quick through that sector or those a uh, few turns. He seemed to struggle quite a bit through the penultimate chicane second to last chicane not second to last turn of the lap and we are right up on his tail looking for a decent exit i'd say uh, i mean it's decent enough and we ended up staying behind this guy for quite some time this is the end of that lap so end of lap three and we're looking really just to get a decent exit here it's good enough it's going to put us heavily in the slipstream of this guy and not that this guy was i mean he didn't seem 
all that overly aggressive. I guess he did do some fighting with Joey, but by the time we come to lap four, this is where our battle with him is going to begin. We had the slipstream looking up the inside here at the last moment, and thankfully, I mean, I was paying attention here because I just about killed him there as he cuts across the track, so no contact. Very close call, though, and um, this would be a battle that would rage on for... I mean, maybe four or five laps, I want to say. I'm not quite sure. It was a significant amount of this race as we sat behind him. This is halfway through lap five, coming down turn six and seven, headed to eight. And, I mean, the, the positions haven't really changed all that much. Joey's about a full second ahead of us in P3. And Tony, the guy ahead of us, car number nine in P4. And, I mean, we are pretty hot on his tail at this point. As we head into the chicane corners 10 and 11 right here, Looking to, I mean, honestly, at this point, I was kind of falling into the rhythm, waiting for him to make a mistake. He is going to make it here as he gets quite a bit of oversteer, building up his throttle a little bit too early there, perhaps steering too much as he uh, really should have been straightening, straightening out his wheel as well. We are going to slot ahead of him into turn number 12 and claim P4 finally. So uh, we move up, although we did lose quite a bit of time to Joey. Joey is now almost two full seconds ahead of us, or I mean, realistically, he's about a second and a half ahead of us. Coming through the final turn, we're going to hold it tight just try and gain time through the mid corner there's a camber here on the exit which helps you with your exit on this occasion i threw it in perhaps a little bit too hot getting on the throttle too early get a small slide and that may have been the nail in my coffin i'd say he's about four tenths behind me at this point and closing as we cross on to lap number six and i didn't think he was going to go for a move he's pretty far back at this point i don't know why the relative says he's in position 23 but um he ends up absolutely shipping it into us from um i mean he was two tenths back going into the braking zone which isn't super far but he didn't really take a uh I, I just didn't think he was going to go for this move. I don't think he was really intending to. He ends up just kind of running into us and then running into us multiple times. And um, eventually we climb back on track. But at the point we climb back on, we are down to, we fall all of the way down to P18. He climbs on right ahead of us. So um, I'm taking it very slow as I get back onto the track, just in case my car or my steering was damaged. And I mean, yeah, we lost 13 positions, or well, technically, we lost 14 positions from that. So quite a, um, quite a detrimental moment in my race. And um, it's it's not over. I still have the opportunity to climb back up, but I know it's going to be a lot of work. Fortunately, at the place where I did climb onto the track, there's like five cars here, all within. I don't know, maybe three and a half to four seconds of each other. Car number 18, who is almost at the front of this group, is challenging car number 22 for the lead of this group. As they head into corners 10 and 11, 18 has a very good run, looking up the inside, six settling behind, enter car number nine. This is Antony, the guy we just got into an accident with. He is making his way through here, looking for a really good exit. 22 taking a very reserved exit, and that's gonna allow car number nine to look right up the middle. But before we go any further, please accept this trade. Your like, subscription, and click of the bell icon in exchange for me kicking an octopus into a bucket from across my entire yard. If I'm able to kick this octopus from this spot right here into that bucket, you have to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. All that. First try, baby, first try. Okay, back to what is looking like a homicide. Pretty wide ends the way you would expect it to at this point in the track. Here is my view of that as I was kind of watching this all go down. So we're skipping backwards, just a couple of corners. You see that group ahead starting to form. They're two by two through the exit of corner number 11. And I see them go three wide momentarily here. This guy cuts in front of me and that may have honestly saved my life a little bit. It allows me to see exactly what's going on. With these guys, I mean, they were very loose from all that. And car number nine skates away after causing an absolute murder. So um, the culprit is on the run ahead of us. All of that has pushed us up into P15 at the moment. So we gained three positions back already. And you know, I was thinking honestly, maybe if I could follow this guy through and just let him kind of take out the field. However, that wasn't to be the case as he pulls into the pit lane with um, too many incidents and he actually, he gets disqualified. So that's the last we're gonna see of him. 
Moving us up into P14, we are now challenging car number 17 for P13 into the first corner of lap 7, looking up the inside. We are going to break late, but not so late that we run into him as he cuts across and takes the racing line, and I think that that's a very valid move as the car behind that I encourage people to try. If you have a decent run, just put your nose up the inside. You don't have to actually make the dive, but people may just end up staying out wide and giving you that position, and if not, you actually don't even lose that much time from that. You lose very little time uh, from taking the inside line like that. Small moment as we come out of corner number six passing a cloud that has decided to uh, move onto the racetrack and the car ahead of us goes extremely deep through corner number eight heading up corner number nine he tries to make up for it by getting on the throttle early just ends up pushing himself into the dirt we're going to move up his inside as we head into corner number 10 the entry to this chicane here throwing our car a bit faster than i would have liked there still managing to uh, get a semi decent line out of there car number seven definitely 17 excuse me has a better run he's going to soak up slipstream move to the outside but ends up breaking pretty early and we will skate away with that position so up into p13 car number 12 and car number 11 quite a bit ahead of us uh about six seconds to car number 11 almost four to car number 12 but that gap would slowly come down over the next few laps skipping ahead to car number 10 and there they are right there that is p11 and p12 in our sights so they are now both within a second of us and honestly car number 10 is not that far up the road either he's only 2.8 seconds up the road from us so i think we have an actual chance here there's three laps left in the race to claim a uh, top 10 position which would be nice i don't think that that's going to gain us i rating but it would minimize the damage which was really just kind of what this race was a case of just trying well after lap uh, after lap five it became a case of just trying to minimize the damage car or p12 looking up the inside of p11 here into turn one they are side by side who's going to get the power down first it looks like it's the inside car slotting ahead of car number 13 i believe that is in front of us and we are going to follow him through so they have switched positions and i am hoping that i can take advantage of this guy who is probably feeling a bit vulnerable now losing a position around the first corner and you've seen me catch up from many seconds down the road right on his tail over breaking there from uh, both of us probably i'm trying not to go into the back of him and that kind of gives him a little bit of safety uh safety cushion for the rest of that lap start of lap number 12 and turn one we're riding the slipstream it's not enough to look for a valid move he's going to tuck to the inside just in case i did look for something i end up carrying a bit more speed than I would have really liked there not getting the greatest line but it is my line and I'm happy with it I own it I accept it and I'll try and do better next time car number 13 getting I mean honestly this guy wasn't really getting many great exits if I'm being honest at this point I really started to feel like I was getting held up behind him I was being very patient on my throttle and on um I was breaking early in a lot of these corners, looking up the inside here, but once again, I mean, th that was probably too patient of me. Realistically, I could have totally sent that through, and I don't think it would have been overly aggressive. Right back onto car number 13's tail as we head around corner 8, and I notice the gap ahead is starting to grow. I need to get around this guy quick. Looking to open up this corner, getting on throttle slightly later than him for a better exit, and it looks like we are just about going to get it done here. Weirdly, later can give you a better exit there too early, and you are sending yourself into the dirt, which he just about does there. We get that position done into the chicane, and we are now up into P12 with one second to P11 ahead of us and one lap left. So we really need to get a hustle on at this point. The gap to P10 has fallen all of the way to a second and a half. And fast forward to the first chicane of the final lap of the race. We are now directly behind car number 11. 0.2 seconds behind him, less than a second from car number 10. The possibilities are really starting to open up in my head, and I think that I think that I could do this. Trying to set up a move, I don't want to get too close to him here, put him under too much pressure. I really want to try and get a move similar to what I had on the last lap. So I'm looking, I'm thinking ahead about uh, corner number nine and trying to get a move into the chicane. Not having the greatest run car number 14 ahead of us. We're right on his tail, exactly where we need to be. And I think I got a little bit in my head there as I turned in slightly too late. He turns in at the correct moment, and that's going to give him enough cushion to be safe into corner number 10, which sucks. That was um, That's the biggest opportunity, I'd say, or into co corner 12. However, I'm going to shaft my own exit, and he pulls away even further. So losing time to him and coming around the final corner of the race, yeah, we weren't able to catch up. We would end up settling behind him, and I mean, all three of us crossing within half of a second of each other. I was still satisfied with how it went. It was a um, 
really unfortunate accident that happened to us. I don't think there was too much we could have done there, but that's just how racing is sometimes. So we crossed the line in P12. Here are the results. Yeah, it's been a rough week. You can see my I rating has absolutely tanked. I'm down to 36.24. Only had five incidents though, so that was good. Joey finished on the podium, so congratulations to Joey. He has been absolutely killing it this week. If you guys enjoyed this video, please check out some of my other videos, even my channel. I'm willing to bet there's a lot of stuff there that you will enjoy as well.